circle around, complete one circle, and he's going to circle around the other direction. And he can catch his breath or whatever, but he's going to circle the other direction. Okay? So when he's doing this, see how his foot's up? He's got good form. He wants to maintain that good form, and he's just hopping right off of me. And wherever he goes, I just stay with him. And this really, this really does help you with Uchimata. It really does. And it's a good way to train for Uchimata. It's a good, very specific exercise as a warm-up, okay? Very good specific exercise. So what I'm going to have you do, I'll have you hold just like Derek and I did, okay? And we'll do that for about 15 seconds. Okay, that's, that's a fair amount of time actually doing this drill. And then after 15 seconds I say stop and I'll switch. Then the other guy will do it. Okay? So go ahead and team up, hold on to each other so we've we got good support there. And when everybody's ready, I'll say start. Okay, is everybody ready? Okay, start. Hop around, head low, head low, get your head low. Get your head down. And stop. Okay, good. The other guy. So, see, Mike? And he's going to go circle around, complete one circle. And he's going to circle around the other direction. And he can catch his breath or whatever, but he's going to circle the other direction. Okay? You take a quick breather, then do it again. And I want you to do, do that five times. Five times. So, circle around once, circle around once. That's the count one and one. So, actually, you did it in ten circles, but, you know, five sets of two. Got it? Yep. Okay, let's go again. Going around in a circle. Go around in a circle. Small hops. Small, Small hops. hops. This is called can can. Can can means hop. Head down and like that. I'm going to support, be his support. Okay? And he's just going to come in and watch. I'm just holding on to him. I'm holding him up. Watch what he does. He just comes in and he does like a Uchimata. Okay? He just comes in. He's not doing it on me, but what are we working on here, everybody? What are we warming up and what are we working on here? Like, speed and form. Get a speed and form, and look at those legs come up. Position. Head down, toe up in the air, look at that. You must have perfect form every time, okay? So you may start number one, maybe really not a very good one, but by the time you get to number 10, I'm just going to do 10 each, okay? I want that number 10 to be pretty good. So we're looking not so much for how fast you do them, but the form in which you do them, okay? How well you do each, each of those 10. Okay, so you do 10, and he'll do 10, okay? Let's go get it. trying to do it perfectly each time, you're just trying to get the, the form down a little bit. And this can be one that you're kind of working your way towards if you can't get it. The idea is, same as what we were doing before, where you're stabilizing on the other guy by his gi, I'm going to do it solo though. We're going to move in, back step, and as you lift your leg up, you're going to try and touch your, your hand, which is usually your collar hand, okay, down on the mat. And lift your leg up. So it might end up, if your flexibility isn't great, that you come in and you go like that. That's okay. Some people have very horizontal uchimatas. But eventually, this gets a little bit better. Okay? And before you know it... See how that's really low and the foot's really high? That's what we want to achieve. Okay? So this gives you a, a little bit of stability by putting your hand down. It also reminds you your upper body is supposed to be going down as well as your leg going. Got it? Yes, sir. Let's do yes. 10, and then we're going to do some other stuff, and we're going to get some, like, some skills here. Okay, so, so spread out a little bit. Give yourself a move. Let's get 10 of these. Give me the last of the two. There you go. Set. Set. There you go. That's it. I'm going to be right at the end there. 
Thank you.